Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Uh, this is our preview for our Carabao Corp, Manchester United versus Leicester, which will take place tomorrow, guys. Uh, we'll talk about that, but uh, before we move on, guys, please, I will have to talk about United. We know yesterday, Eric Ten Hag was sacked as manager for Manchester United. I guess most of you already know that. First of all, I want to ask you guys, uh, was this a right decision? I want to get a yes or no. I want to know what you guys think about the sacking of Eric Ten Hag now. And um, also, um, we have some development. United went very quickly for Robin Amaron uh, from Sporting Lisbon. And uh, who is this guy, Amaron? I'll do a separate video, tell you guys more about it. So guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Start by liking this video because that's how we do here in the United Way TV. But yeah, um, the thing is that if you want, I, I, I can make a long video talking about this Amaron guy or talking about my opinion about Eric Ten Hag. Uh, but uh, let's just dedicate... This I want this one. This will be the last time I talk about Retainer, okay? And let's just dedicate. Uh, let me say thirty seconds on this player. This on this uh, manager. This is a manager who came to United two thousand and twenty-two. No matter what you think about Eric Ten Hag not being a successful manager for Manchester United, I don't know how success is or what success is in Manchester United since the departure of Sir Alex Ferguson. I think the standards have gone down so low that, um, uh, we, I mean, any trophy we win is a success, you know. But uh, yeah. Coming back to uh, what we are talking about uh, in terms of trophy, Manchester United, uh, Eric Ten Hag, two years in uh, Old Trafford, two and a half years, and I mean, two basically two years, two trophies. So he is living with his head up high. I, I, I wasn't a fan for him to be sad, but it is what it is. I think I need to accept it. It was about time because football is a results-based um, business. So please tell me below what you think about the, the sacking. Was that the right thing? And um, we are moving now on to Robin uh, Amaron. There are all the papers. You have Fabrizio Romano, the, the Middle East team. They're talking about uh, Amaron, the potential being the Manchester United uh, manager that all deals have already been uh, agreed with uh, Manchester United to get Amaron, uh, um, Amaron to move. Actually, buying a, play, uh, uh, a manager in the caliber of uh, Amaron for, from Sporting, I think it will be around uh, maybe 10 million quid. Uh, for him to move from Sporting to Manchester United. So it won't be the cheapest, but that's the money that we are talking about to displace him because presently his club, uh, Sporting, is the uh, lead, they are leading. They have played eight games, eight victory. They have won the championships. He has won the Child Local Championship. I think he needs to move to another level. So uh, we shall see whenever there is a breaking news there. Stay tuned here. We will give you guys the information. But yeah, let's come back with our video. Uh, yeah, uh, the reason why you clicked here, which is our game against uh, against um, uh, Leicester tomorrow. The show must go on. This is a game where United, I think we need to start play. With, we need to test the 3-4-3 system. What, I want, what do I mean by 3-4-3? I think you guys know that tactical system. So I will go to three back, right? The three back and the four midfielders and three attackers. This system, for you, this system to work, you need energetic midfielders. That's why I will start this system. Let me just give you guys my lineup. I, we, we, I need to bring legs in this game. And you'll be surprised what I will bring him in the defense. We need to bring players who are ready to make mistakes, but are ready to put in, a, put in a shift. This is what we haven't seen. We keep talking about the sacking of a manager. We, we, we have not heard there has been a, a sacking of certain players. Unfortunately, it bounced back to the managers. But to players have to... I mean, this, all eyes will be on players. Yes, Tenak is not there. We want to say good football. So hopefully the ship will be there. Hopefully United is going to not only win, but play good football. The goalkeeper, I think... Oh, Bayenda should play all the cup games. I'll start with Bayenda in the poll. In this game, we're playing against Leicester. Leicester, don't forget, at the league now, we at Manchester United were 14 and Leicester is 15. So it's a team that is not like a massive good club that will come and smash us and Old Trafford. We don't expect that. Even though you know the modern Manchester United team, you can you can you can bet your house on them. So yeah, no. Uh, so Bayenda for me in goal. Defense, I will go with um uh Delit. Three different defenders have for me it will be Delit. Uh, it will be Delit on the right and the left. It will be Lisandro Martinez. And we I will play with uh on uh, I will play uh, also uh, it will be uh 
you have a player like Mazari uh, on the right and and I'll put Mazari on the right and I will put uh, 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 Amos on the left because Amos has to play. Uh, Amos, sorry, Amos has to play. Holding midfielder, we have Ogate. Ogate has to play that game. Ogate has put his energy. There's a reason why Ineos went for Ogate. In my views, I think he needs to play this game in the midfield. Ogate has to double that midfield with, er with Ericsson in the midfield. I think Casemiro should be benched. So I'll go Ogate, Ericsson, and Bruno Fernandes. And on the right side of the uh, attack, it will be, for me, <clears throat> it will be Ahmad on the right. On the left, you have Ganacho and the attacker Asmos Holland. So you guys should tell me what you think about that lineup because I think <clears throat> this is the best lineup <clears throat> against uh, a team that is beatable in Old Trafford. What, how do we approach the game? United need to control the game. I'm a massive fan of clubs that try to control games. I'm not all about those kick and run long balls. Because if you can control games, you can create uh, you can create opportunities. If you can create opportunities, you can you can win games. You you will get goals. So this is my position. That's the way I look. And I'll go for the game for United winning a three one or a three two. I always try to give myself um a cushion there, yeah, a, a safety cushion. So I I don't know what you guys think, but <clears throat> that's uh, exactly what and what I want to do in terms of um. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I would do if I was the manager. Gavani Steroy, no matter what his performance will be, it seems as if he will not be the permanent manager uh, of Manchester United. I think United have acted really, really fantastically uh, in, in a professional manner by searching a permanent manager right away, a manager that stays with the club for uh, some time. This season, well, I'm, I'm not saying that we're writing off the season, but a manager that will work with these players and uh, determine who will come in for next season. This is a very smart way to do business, in my view. Um, I've moved on from uh, Tenak. As I said, this will be the last video we talk about him. I wish him all the best. I mean, our small community here will. Tunde Joy obviously will be over the moon for that. And um, yeah, so um, uh, as I said, Ruben Amaron is the favorite to be uh, at the moment in the book. He's the favorite to be Manchester United manager, the Portuguese midfielder. The Portuguese um, technician, uh, which is the manager, uh, has been contacted by United. Uh, there are rumors that he has given a go. We have heard this from Fabrizio and also David Onstein. I want to ask you guys a question. What is your expectation for Manchester United this season? I would love to do, uh, listen to you guys, especially someone like Van Oist. You know, we have different levels of fans in this community. We have people who really watches these videos, uh, short videos to the end, people who are invested in understanding what's going on with the club. And uh, Van Hoist, I would like to get your view on this. What would be a good season, guys? Drop your comment below. What would be a good season for you, Tonde? What would be the good season for you, De Liso? I haven't heard from him for a while. What would be a good season for you and all the rest, those of you which have their names are just off my head? Because I think a good season for Manchester United has to be that top four. We need to qualify for the top four. That will be a message that we are coming back. And for us to do so, we have to have a style of play. And that's what we haven't seen all this while. Anyway, guys, that's my uh, preview. That's my scores of the game. I could do videos every day. But again, I am in a mess as a person. <laughs> it's just that's the easiest way to put it for you to understand. I can't go in difficult um, uh, to details. But in future, we will get you guys on board and tell you guys what's going Anyway, guys, smash a like on the video, get involved with the United Way TV, and uh, not much to say. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.